beach and boy, it's a windy day. We're staging this house. It is a 55 and up community leisureville. Close to the beach, we have our work cut out for us. The walls are gray, the floors are white, the kitchen is now open concept. When it was built probably over 50 years ago, it was closed in. So we had to really pick the proper things for that kitchen. One of our biggest challenges in these smaller homes is we always come across that um, you can't put a lot of furniture or else it starts looking like a furniture store. But you need enough furniture to make it look homey. So Right, and what's strange, like many homes in the when area you walk in is really big and the TV room is on the tight side. So we pick some tight furniture for the smaller rooms, bigger scale furniture for the big rooms. And I think we picked the right colors for this house for that gray and white. Yeah, we did pick some really cool colors. The colors are gonna be great. The challenge is gonna be the furniture. So we just don't want it to look like we got chairs right next to each other and tables right next to each other. So I have a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot of that moving around. Moving around. It's down to the last inch to yeah. get it right. Mm -hmm. We'll be cheating on here and cheating on there, but it's gonna come together. Yep, and this is unusual and it's happened many times. We staged the house next door not that long ago. Wow, the investor did really well there. And I think this house they're gonna do even better. Well, I think we made this house look completely different than the other house. It may have come out better. I don't know. They both looked really good. It looks amazing. Yeah, we've chose the right colors. Some teals, some blacks. Black gave it the weight. It was really kind of floating away, the house. It was gray and white. It just blended. The grays and the whites just, because it's not a dark gray on the walls, which you don't want. But everything just looked like one kind of color. Yeah, so. like a gray cloud just floating away. So we needed the weight with the color, the black. Wow. Love it. It just defines the spaces better. Like you can see where the furniture can go now because you get the black up against the, the light walls and it just really looks great. Yeah. Now when the professional investor bought the house, I wasn't involved in that, but I saw the pictures. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I see why it went for bottom line. Wall to wall carpeting, outdated furniture, mishmash of colors. It, it was like a tenement, oh my gosh. Now it is like a million dollar house. Well also, I saw the pictures, Jill showed them to me, and you know me about functionality. This whole room here was just, the whole house had no flow to it. It was just like, everything was all over. There was no rhyme or reason. What room were you supposed to watch TV? What room were you supposed to eat? What room do you entertain with? So you'll see now what we did with the functionality of the house and why it's really hard to make it the function in this house. The older houses, I think this was built in the 60s, maybe even before, uh -huh. the back was a patio. So it's always long and narrow. What do you do with that area? But we really picked some cool stuff. Yeah, we picked the right size furniture to not make the house look smaller because you need to walk around things and that's what the flow comes in so that people aren't, not, oops, walking around something. You can actually walk through. Uh huh. And we got this sofa in the door. Wow, <laughs> it took us about an hour to get this in. The doors are very narrow. I think people were narrower then in the 60s and 50s. <laughs> or shorter, one or the other. Because yeah. <laughs> we could not get in. We no. had to take the legs off. No. We had to take the cushions out of it, and it still barely fit in, but we got yeah. it. <laughs> it, was, it was house sofa birth. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how it's it felt. Time. I it. It's coming. Push, push, push. Anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing the videos and the house and how it came out because we think that it really came out yeah. great.
Today we're in Pompano Beach and boy, it's a windy day. Good job. Yes, it is. We're taking that part out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a stupid fly in the house. 